Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. Nikki from Nikki Anita Cosmic Creative wishing you all the highest vibration, love and magic wherever you are. So today it's a midweek peak for me, you know, usually Wednesdays I will do this. But instead I would like to do a little flip through of the deck that I had now for some time. But I haven't, you know, really shown because there's um, not many videos on this beautiful oracle deck. And when I was searching for a nature-based trees, you know, oracle cards the last few months, I did not come across this for some reason. So I, I think I came across this early last month and I saw it and it was on sale. I thought like, okay, why not, you know? How come I did not see this? And... There are not many videos on this uh, beautiful deck, actually. It is so underrated. So this is by Jane Struthers. Struthers, you know, I'm sorry you know, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So it is the Wisdom of Trees Oracle. Inspirational cards for wisdom and guidance. Totally beautiful. Okay, it's by, um, the publisher is WatkinsPublishing.com And uh, the artwork, the commissioned artwork is by Morella Allwood And the box design is by Francesca Corsini So there's two different artists who worked on this, you know, cards and the box So it says here, this is the back I hope the phone is capturing it and that is why I have to record it this way because, like I said, I don't have a tripod. And you know, if I, you know, I record it horizontally, it's going to be a little smaller, and you may not be able to focus my beautiful Huawei. <laughs> so it says here: re reconnect with natural world and discover your true sense of self, inspired by the serene and majestic beauty of nature, and reach. Uh, with insights from spiritual traditions from around the globe. This is superbly illustrated oracle deck will help you use the ancient wisdom of trees to gain new and profound level of awareness about yourself, your relationships, and where you are headed. So this kit contains 40 beautifully illustrated oracle cards and a practical full color handbook that explains how to read them understand their deeper meanings and integrate their messages into every aspects of your life so it's for you beautiful cards so let's see this box opens this way sideways yes so when you open of course the cards were in here of course i've taken it out and separate them because they come in suits different suits so it's beautiful you can see I think the color is um, how you say it as chartreuse or chartreuse, depending on British or American pronunciation. And this could be chartreuse, green or yellow. It's in between actually, but it's beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm trying to like get coordinated with the colors today. So, and yes, that's the box, you know, sturdy and very nice. It's like because usually you don't come by a box that opens slides sideways so yes and of course the side of it is just plain green very nature natural colors of leaves and trees and plants and um yes with my beautiful so batik it's actually a hand-drawn batik from malaysia done by my friends so yes I'm like in color coordination as always. And this is the beautiful guidebook. So it says here, uh, Jen, Jane Strutters is a full-time professional astrologer and writer who has studied tarot, astrology and palmistry for over 25 years. She teaches astrology at the London School of Astrology and has also lectured abroad on astrology and tarot or tarot. Tell you pronounce it. So it's a colored book, you know, that's very interesting. This is how it goes. Let me show you the first page of Acacia. Okay. 
is how it goes. It's fully colored. That's beautiful, you know, the borders, as you can see, um, as per the cards. Because, like I said, the cards are separated by um, four different suits. So, I don't know if you can see this. Because they go dark and light, my artificial lighting focus. So, you have the, um, the roots, trunk leaf and flower fruit and seed in one group so the roots as in being trunk is for healing leaf wisdom flower fruit and seed is for power okay so this separated so of course i've separated the cards according to their you know and different suits have different borders and of course you have the introduction tuning into trees getting to know your trees different characters of your trees and you know your tree being they all have their individual archetypes as, as, as humans are so sensing a tree's energy and devas and natural you know nature spirits of each trees and plants so how to use this oracle using the cards in conjunction with the book and working with this deck And of course, you have spreads and readings, single card question, sample reading, past, present, future spread. They have sample readings, so it shows you, you know, if you, if you choose three cards, you know, how it goes about. And um, you have a reverse reading here. Not sure. Yes, they have inverse right way up and also inverse reading. That means, you know, the reverse cards so yes they have sample reading for the three cards and also the horseshoe spread also give an example how you can read them so it's quite precise you know short sweet and beautiful colored you know illustrations and stuff so a little detail as you can see the borders and very nice I really love this and you know stuff like this as you can see, it's beautiful illustration. Very subtle, but yes, beautiful. So, of course, I'll give you a sample reading at the end and see how we, you know, it reads the cards. Because for you know, you have the um, for the cards, you have uh, uh, the scientific name for the tree. Then you have the Deva message. And a little description of where they grow, you know, the geological part of it. And then how you read it right way up and inverse reading. So it is quite complete. So let's see this about the authors behind. But there's no photos or, you know, pictures. And also you have, um, at the back you have the nature sanctuaries where you can find, you know, in Africa, Asia. All this um, national parks and stuff. It's really cool. And um, yeah, useful websites. So, yes, and let's look at this beautiful cards. We will start with um, the roots. This is the roots, right? The trunk. Then we have the leaf and the fruits, uh, let's see. We'll have the roots, the trunk, leaf, flower, fruit, and seed. Okay. So the roots is for um, being. Okay, let me see if I can bring it closer. And it's quite a glossy, yes, let me show you the back of the cards. You have the illustration of the leaves, you know, dried leaves with <laughs> veins, you know, total autumnish. <laughs> with my artificial lighting and little reflection there. Sorry about that because we don't really have natural daylight anymore. So, and it's been gloomy. 
for the past more than yeah for the past week for more than a week and uh, with just four hours plus daylight now mm, I can't capture it so I'll try my best to um, show you the acacia it's just beautiful the artwork if I get any closer it won't me and the Huawei hmm, time to upgrade <laughs> the gadget but you know I'm not sort of gadget person so this is Baobab Bristles cone pine. As you can see for the roots, uh, the borders are in blue tone. Banyan. I've seen this tree back in Malaysia too. Cedar of Lebanon. Monterey pine awesome artwork by the artist Montezuma Cypress we have a little <laughs> Montezuma there people you can see the prayer flags, you know. Sit down and uh, it's like a depiction of Buddha praying under the tree, the holy tree, people. And the Sugi. The light now, it's different lighting. Sorry about this one because we just have it mine of its own. And willow. And you have that little harp. Just gorgeous. Okay, that's the end of the um, trunk. Uh, sorry, that is um, the roots with the blue border. And now with the brown border. And we have the green border. And uh, the fruits and flowers is about, it's like maroonish. You also have a little picture of those fruits and stuff. Pretty, so pretty. So, of course, this is brown with, it's actually a trunk. As you can see, ash. It's for the trunk. Camphor, which is widely used in Asia. Especially India for prayers, the temple, and all that. You have the white square stuff, you know, being burned. And they have these uh, fire rituals. Coast redwood with the hawk flying above there. These are magnificent, huge, magnificent trees. So, for those who are in the United States, you know, North America, I don't know if you can find them in Canada. And those who have been to Redwood Forest, you know what I'm talking about. Awesome energy. This is Hornbeam. Indian Bean. We said it's neither bean or nor Indian. <laughs> Where the name came from though, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful art. Look at that pretty. Linden. Oh, you can see it. two birdies. Looks like dove. And um, rainbow. Like I said, it's so subtle, you know, but magical. And oak. How majestic is that? As you can see, the beautiful crown etched there on the trunk. Mighty oak. 
and silver birch. Our beautiful land, our house is surrounded by beautiful silver birch. Beautiful energy from these three beings. The one in front of our house is like three trunks growing from one root, sort of, you know, root system. I call them triketra. They've been maybe here for more than 100 years. So beautiful trees. And I know some people who are so connected to birch. Scott's pine. It's a little woodpecker. It was like this here about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, in all snowy and winter wonderland. And now most of the snow is gone. You know, the, the weather is going minus one, zero, two plus, and so it's not really a winter wonderland now. But it was like this, like the pine, uh, Scott's pine um, art. Beautiful. <laughs> and you. You have this beautiful this moonlight or... As, as it is, the um, the artwork is so, you know, subtly and uh, the colors are not bright. And so with my focus, it sh you know, it kind of shows blurry. That, uh, like I said, if the focus was good, you know, probably you can see that little details. But you can see here, they actually have the bow and arrow that you, it's the bow here. Oh, it's truly really magical. So that's the trunk. And now we go to the leaves. With the green border. Beautiful. And here are the eucalyptus. As it's, um, yeah, it grows in many parts, you know, even in Europe. Uh, but of course, different species of eucalyptus. But this one you can find in uh, Australia. So I think it's a kookaburra, a tree, <laughs> and this dirigredu, or you know, I don't know how to say it now. That beautiful um, indigenous people uh, um, musical instrument. I think that is the one that's lying there. So yes, this is very Australia. And um, you have cow immunity. That's what I call, you know, when I go back to our uh, off-grid living in Portugal. There's nobody around. It's in the middle of nowhere, far away from civilization. So I can only see cows from far away. And I call that they are my cow immunity. So you have three <laughs> cow immunity here. This beautiful elm. Okay, now it's focused. Way. Eastern Cottonwood. I think I need to go here because here sometimes I can't control how it's focusing. Sometimes it just goes too bright. Skinko. Because I think it's certain colors, you know, how that camera is not so efficient. <laughs> Huawei, this is hazel. So when it comes to certain colors, you know, you see, it starts focusing others, getting brighter or it's beyond my control. So this is horse chestnut. Holly. We all need some holly. Juniper. I love this card. It's so magical. Sugar maple. Let's see. It goes totally bright. White mulberry, it's beautiful yin and yang. Let's see if I can. I don't 
helping to focus. Okay, so that is the end of our leaf cards, and now we go to um, the fruit, seeds, and flowers. And, and beautiful waters, maroon, apple. Let me see that writing. Okay, like that. Junior is going to be bright. That's apple. Black elder. Cherry. Date palm. I love this birdie. It looks like some bird of paradise or something. But they're beautiful. State palm. European beach. Giant redwood. This is redwood. This little stack of deer. Beautiful hawthorn, little pentagram there, truly magical. Used a lot for spell casting and rituals. Olive, you have that little owl. I didn't know if the owl is depicted as carved in wood. You know, and it's got a little teapot and a little shell, snail and feather. It's own little secret space. Sacred space, I mean. <laughs> the owl's sacred space. And pomegranate. Sprite. And last but not least, sweet orange. So that is our four suits, the root, the trunk, the leaves, and the fruit seeds and flowers. So let's see, just a little one sample reading. Of course I've planned these cards and I did one or two reading from this. So I've not really used it for um, a general reading on my channel, so just to give you a heads up how the book reads, soon I will do a pick a card and stuff. And it's for my palm, I think it's perfect. I like so, it's, I think it's one of the smaller cards that I have right now <laughs> that is perfect for my tiny tiny hands okay let's pick a card first now and see how it reads oh <laughs> this beautiful owl in its own sacred space so it's olive, owl in the olive tree. So this is for the um, fruits, seeds, and um, flowers. So this card, because like I said earlier, the roots, you know, is for being, as in, you know, and trunk is for healing, leaf is for wisdom, so flower, fruit, and seed is for power. Okay, it's flower, fruit, and seed. I keep saying it's fruit, seed, and flower. <laughs> okay, so olive is sanctity. And yes, so each card, you know, like acacia is for protection. Baobab, 
survival. So you also have a keyword for each tree. So for Olive is sanctity. So we see how it reads for us. Beautiful Olive tree. So sanctity and the uh, scientific name is Olea Europea. Sorry for my reflux. <laughs> so Olive Dewa message is the olive branch is a universal symbol of peace. So let me show you how to create a greater sense of harmony in your own life. It's like the Deva, the spirit of the tree talking to us. So And to invest all your actions with sanctity and significance. Okay, you have a little message from the Dewa, the spirit of the tree in the beginning. And then it goes to explain, the olive tree literally occupies a central position in ancient Greek mythology because a special tree believed to be the mother tree of all of olives was planted in the um, Erechtheum within the Acropolis in Athens. Remarkably, what is uh, thought to be a descendant of that tree still grows there. The oil pressed from the original tree's fruits was burned continually in a consecrated lamp placed next to the tree. And olive oil is still a constituent of holy oil in a variety of religions. The medicinal use of olive oil include lowering blood pressure and reducing abdominal spasms. A little insight of the tree. And then the uh, geographical part of it, the native to... Um, Eastern Mediterranean and Asia Minor bears fragrant flowers and edible oil bearing fruits. Grows to 25 feet tall, 8 meters. And um, the reading for the cards, or this particular card, you know, right way up or inverse. So the right way up for this beautiful olive is create a small area in your home that is sacred to you. Decorate it with um, special objects and spend time there each day, either sitting quietly in co contemplation or meditating. Honor this space and keep it special. That's what the card message is for, is to create that sacred. Yeah, just like I was saying, the owl is in his own sacred space. The card is telling us to create our own sacred space. So the inverse is stop being so critical of yourself. Continually finding fault with your actions, appearance or words is draining your energy. If you always do the very best that you can, you will have no reason to chastise yourself. Beautiful message. So that's how the card reads from the book. You know, you can also, once you start tapping into the energy intuitively, you know, with the, the pictures themselves, you know, the energies of the cards and the trees. You can, yeah, start reading it intuitively without even referring to the book, you know, but you need to, yeah, really connect. And those who've been doing this for a very long time, you know, uh, tarot readers or oracle readers, they can just look at the, the picture and start connecting with the colors and the images. So, yes. You can do it both ways, your own, you know, intuitive reading or directly from the beautiful illustrated book. And I'm so grateful that I came by this beautiful, the Wisdom of Trees Oracle. So, and I hope you really enjoyed this little, um, yeah, you can say flip through, walk through, review. So for those who've never heard of this, and who have this uh, wanting to, you know, get a uh, nature-based oracle card or deck, you know, this is much recommended. I surely do. It's uh, and a few um, available videos on this, uh, reviews on this deck is, they really liked it. Some of them are beginners, some are, you know, been there for many years doing it. More advanced readers also appreciate this beautiful illustration, description, and yes, energy of this beautiful deck. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey with our beautiful tree being 
So wish you all love and magic wherever you are. May you be filled with bliss, courage, and healing. Thank you for watching. Lots of love. In La Cash Namaste.